My name is Chase Yi, and I play Tae Joon uh, in the show. And I would say that my character is, he's just really confident. Um, I think that really brings out who he is, and that's the motivation for a lot of the things he does and says. And that confidence comes from, you know, his skill uh, at the sport, Quidditch. Um, I think very much just how he leads himself is, is always from a place of affirmation and, and um, strong character and that he's always making the right decision. So I, I think uh, it's, it's an easy thing to, to create, you know, f uh, from myself personally and then translating that to, to him. So I, I just love how funny he is, I guess. I, I, he just doesn't really care too much about what other people think, um, which I think a lot of us wish we could do all the time, but I haven't really run into any moments yet in his character where he doesn't do that. I mean, whenever he has a thought, he, he says it. Uh, whenever he wants to make a joke or hit on, you know, Parvati or, or something along those lines, he does it, and it's always in good nature and, and good fun. Um, so I just love that uh, ability, you know, just that playfulness all the time. Uh, well, working with Eliana, uh, our director, um, has always been something I've enjoyed and I've been fortunate enough to do that in the past uh, when I was younger. Um, we shot a really great short film called The Life I Carry uh, a few years ago in Chicago and we filmed it in other parts of the Midwest. But um, So working with her, we, we, I formed a great relationship with Eliana, also our producer Megan uh, Grogan. And when I eventually moved back to LA, uh, luckily, Eliana moved out here, and then Megan moved out here, and we all sort of reconnected, and Eliana created this role, Tejun, for me. Um, and at the time, I was kind of caught up in school. I, I went back to UCLA and got my degree, and I just I wasn't really sure I wanted to continue with acting. Um, I had my own quarter-life crisis uh, at that point in my, in my early 20s. Um, so at first I turned it down. I kind of said, no, I wasn't, uh, I was too busy. I didn't really have the time. And I don't know, I, for some reason I remember you, another person maybe being cast or considered and then something fell through with that person and I got a call one night from Eliana just, you know, just basically, she didn't really flat out come, you know, say that like, oh, I, you know, I want you guys to, I need you to come in and play this part, but I, uh, I don't know. I just to have the opportunity to work with her again and to work with Megan and the crew, and I, I very much believe in, in all the things they do in their artistry, and uh, that's something you want to connect with, especially here in LA. You know, you want to find people who are authentic and who are actually doing things, um, and that is worth a lot uh, as as a fellow artist um, and someone who likes to accomplish things. So it was really a no-brainer. I'm, I'm very fortunate that I decided to do that. The experience has been great, to be honest. I, I, it's, it's really just fun for me all the time. I really don't have to try very hard, I guess, because my character itself, I feel like, is Taejun. So it's a, it's a really great adjustment for me. Um, it's always entertaining. It's always a good time. And the people I get to work with are phenomenal. I mean, Ashley Romans is an incredibly talented actress. And... Um, I, I always enjoy working with her and uh, you know doing any kind of scene with her is, is great and, and everybody in the show is, is amazing so we, we have a lot of fun together. Well I think the show is important because it takes something that's so mainstream like Harry Potter and it puts it on its axis you know it, it provides you a totally different perspective of, of an idea that's been bombarded with you know, so much press and so much fame and attention and, you know, spin-offs or whatever. And, and to come up with something really original and fresh in the midst of something so mainstream, I feel like is the definition of art, you know? I mean, that's what, that's what we want to do as, as artists, is challenge those societal norms, you know, those things that are so, you know, mainstream and commonplace. You know, we want to think outside the box. And it was really a quick adjustment to do that. You know, you make the main character a, a black woman. I mean, that's that's amazing. S contemporarily speaking, too. Um, you know, creating that that atmosphere and that dynamic and centering it around something which is so socially prevalent, you know, at the moment is, is huge. And I, and I think it's just a, 
it's an amazing opportunity and it's an amazing experience for others to watch and I think it's definitely worth, worth experiencing. Well, I think people should donate to this campaign because, because we, I think we're really creating something with substance. Um, and when you're creating something that has an impact, uh, not only because of how popular it is or the genre or the content, whatever, but because it, it encompasses so many things that I feel like a lot of young people can connect with, um, which is, you know, dealing with those issues of, of being a young man or woman and making choices and trying to find your way in life when you've been told to do something a certain way forever. Um, you know, and you can relate that to, to anything, going to college, finding a job, being in a, in a relationship. Uh, I mean, just finding anything that you can connect with that really allows your spirit to, to shine. You know, a lot of people can't do that. And very few of us are fortunate enough to, to find those reasons. Um, so I think having a show like this that, that provides a space for everybody to confide in and to seek those opportunities and to know that somebody is also dealing with those issues is extremely important.